welcome back you guys and welcome back to the common sense podcast where common minds come together because common sense ain't common y'all welcome back you guys and so today we are talking about a very very popular topic today did you really do that (laughs) yeah yes i did yes i did don't click off the video because of that please please don't (laughs) please please don't please don't please stay with us stay with us stay with us but yeah today we will be discussing a very popular topic that has been going all around social media so stay tuned if you're ready to hear about it without further ado start the intro Right, you guys so the topic that has been taking social media by storm right now is would you rather come across a random man or a random bear me and Cameron we did polls on our Instagram and my poll specifically was 30% to 70% and so um 30 percent voted for man and 70 percent voted for bear that was quite enlightening to me um i'm not sure um what what's going on with my followers I think your followers uh, no disrespect y'all are a little i don't know who you follow they, they gotta be a little <laughs> off because mine was the exact opposite 77 percent voted for the for the for the man rather come off a random man and 23 percent voted for the bear so there's obviously a a discrepancy yeah is. just a little bit just a little bit um to specifically to the people who chose um bear and the people that didn't answer my poll that chose bear um i understand like the bears we grew up seeing you know they're nice and kind you know winnie the pooh you got yogi but i promise you the bear that you see in the forest is not gonna be as kind and when i'm thinking about this this is a hypothetical question by the way meaning there are no conditions stated it's just one or the other if i'm looking at this from a hypothetical question standpoint i'm going to consider the bad and the good of both parties the man and the bear And I'm just thinking in the worst case scenario for both the man (laughs) and the bear, I can survive a man. I can fight off a man. You are not fighting off a bear. I know like there's, there's things going around the internet, people saying, well, bears aren't aggressive. Bears are uh, most likely to just ignore you. You don't know what type of bear this is. This could be a black bear, grizzly bear or whatever. You don't know what type of bear it is. So I just feel like picking bear is so crazy to me. Like you have a fighting chance against a man. A bear is 10 times stronger than you, 10 times faster than you. It's just not, it's just not happening. I I don't get the logic of choosing a bear. I really don't get it. To you, Cameron, (laughs) to you being a man, basically the world, women in the world are basically saying they rather come across a wild bear then come across you. Right. So how do you how do you feel about that? First of all, I feel personally attacked. When I first heard <laughs> this was a real topic, I was like, what? The wild animal? And some people honestly swept up on my story and was like, a wild animal? I was like, yeah, I don't know how this is a topic, but so to me, this goes deeper than the actual uh, just physical of a man and an actual bear. This is a attack on masculinity from feminists, from feminists, in my opinion. And I say that because when you look at the world right now, there is this is a surgence of a surgence of repre- representation. You know, you can you can be in your own skin. You know, for plus size women, you can do all those things. It's more socially accepted, right? And it's mostly geared towards women, right? Mm-hmm. And then you have what you can do to your body, BBLs, all those things, all geared towards women. These are all great things that people can be themselves and do and love who they love. All really good things. But all of those things are geared towards feminism. And when you look at what masculinity is right now, a lot of people, um, when you think of these red pill guys and all the other things, 
Yeah. They think that's what masculinity they is. They do. Yeah, they do. And they so do. that's what it's characterized as. And so you now you have people saying, I would rather come across a 500 pound bear than a than a man right mm -hmm. and it feels like it's just an attack on all men period because what they're they're generalizing they're, right, they're right. putting all men into one bucket and they're basically saying oh well and then there are some women out there saying that you know we know not all all men are bad but we might as well just uh avoid all of them just to make sure right. i definitely understand where this sentiment is coming from i understand why women are picking the bear mm -hmm. us as women we do go go through things as when it comes to men that can be traumatizing right like when we're walking by ourselves we have to constantly and men be on that. alert I mean, right men who have messed it up for you know the, the rest of us right some women should be weary of random men i don't think some women should walk alone by themselves period but in this case, I think you, you're kind of ignoring logic. The, yeah, just a little bit. Because it's like <laughs> you would say you, you would rather come across something that you for sure can will kill can kill you. A hundred percent. If we're looking at the worst case scenario. The, right, right. The it, worst scenario. It will. Right. Versus someone uh, just as a regular guy. And I was I was thinking about this and stay, stay with me here stay with me here stay with me here it, it almost made me made me think about racism in a sense but in like in the reverse way right mm -hmm. how some black people don't like white people mm -hmm. right and it's just like as a as a white person that has no hatred in your heart you would be like well, why doesn't he like me right right, right. they're mm -hmm. holding on to something that was in the path just because there have been certain men who have committed domestic violence who have done things to women to characterize and say that all men are like that and a hundred percent of men a hundred percent of the time would go to that route i think is is a crazy way mm -hmm. of thinking but like i said there's no type of masculinity being put forth that's been positive. shown in a positive light yeah, you yeah. got the diddler out here slapping people it is like, like I'm just saying, it's it's no type of good masculinity being pushed, and when it is pushed, it's only classified as good masculinity because it's approved by women right. who are feminists. I know women are probably gonna call me a pick me this episode, but it it really doesn't matter. But a lot of you all are being very hypocritical. Speaking to the women per se, I can't. There are some men saying bear out there, which is wild to me, and you can address that because you're a man. Y'all can't I fight <laughs> if you were a guy and you reasonably chose bear. Never say you can swear up. I see y'all talking crazy to each other. Usually, y'all be like, man, i never let that happen to me. Couldn't be me. Yes, it would be you. That's all that proved to me. It would be you. If you pick, if you pick Bear, that means if you was to square up in front of a random dude, 99% of the time, you said to yourself, you was going to lose. A lot of women specifically are being very hypocritical. Right. And it really shows, a, to me, it shows the the way that society is it shows the standard or the shape of what society is right now because in my opinion a lot of you guys are looking at this hip uh this hypothetical question which are no conditions you don't know what bear it is you don't know what kind of bear it is you don't know what type of man it is it could right. be any type of man and the first thing that came to y'all minds was the man is dangerous, was the man is dangerous. Right. he's he's a sa he's trying to take advantage of me mm -hmm. you guys didn't think oh it could be a man that's trying to help me it could be my dad it could be my brother it could be any kind man right they in the, the world y'all thought case about scenario. the worst scenario but y'all didn't think about that for the bear it right. could be a mama bear watching her her cubs and yeah. Yeah, we all know how that goes we all have heard you didn't you don't have to go to school to know you don't mess with a mama bear right y'all have y'all are when y'all answered this question y'all sound like y'all carry so much hatred for men in y'all heart and y'all are so uh otherworldly scared of men but y'all know what y'all do with random men y'all accept drinks from random men at the bar y'all sleep with random men Y'all are on dating apps to hook up with random men. <laughs> We're going to have to play the They Not Like Us in instrumental after you saying all this, too, because this is crazy. <laughs> y'all will be with men for a couple of months, and y'all let a man go inside you with no protection and have children. So I'm trying to figure out where this fear of this this otherworldly fear of men is coming from. No, I don't think they will. I just think it's just the hardest thing to be a man in this day and age just for just just because the way the world has its lenses on you whether it's 
I think almost everything we do is overanalyzed. I think even even you know, think about it, even men going to the gym, it feels like that's not even a safe place for us to go because I mean, right. if you're looking at the mirror, I mean, a girl's gonna complain about all these other things. And there's cameras on y'all twenty four seven in the gym. Twenty four seven. So it's just like <laughs> to be a man, a man, and be masculine is to be. It's, it's almost like you being an outsider at this point. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. because everything else has been, everything else has been pushed, everything else has been supported. But being a man, to me, is the most least supported thing, the most least loved thing you can ever do. And I feel like this was the ultimate, you know, F you to all men out there. It shows the I would the mindset. rather be with a 500 pound animal than be even in the vicinity of a man. And I feel like that is crazy. That's crazy. Because y'all y'all honestly act like there has not been one man in y'all life that has treated y'all right. Y'all have y'all have had a man do something nice for you. Y'all have had brothers, y'all have had fathers, y'all have had grandfathers. Y'all ain't ever had no bear do nothing nice to y'all. <laughs> right. <laughs> and all all women will lose the fate to the bear. I'm sorry. I'm just just being for <laughs> just being for real. Any There's person no would lose a Any face person. to a bear. Yeah, but. A lot of women are saying, I'd rather just die. And it's just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, you rather die than fight a man or take your fighting chances with a man? Mm-hmm. And e- even then, it's like, I promise you, dying to a bear is probably going to be one of the most excruciating things you've ever experienced. Bears eat people while they're alive, so they just, it's not going to kill you first. Yeah, it's, it's not going like, to kill you it's first. Gonna intentionally bite your arm or bite your legs first while you're... So you'll feel that all the way until, you know, it's over. You know, it's... <laughs> So you just can't respond anymore and you're just pretty, laying pretty there. But I think that's, I just think it's what they've seen. They're going off of what they've seen. If you were an alien and you came to Earth and you see all what feminism is, how it's how it's brought up, you see all of these great things that, that women do that all the, and all the things that they're represented by. If you looked up what masculinity was and you saw the red pill guys, you saw the, all the crazy stuff, you would think masculinity is bad too. Well, y'all, that has been it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it. And I just have a quick question for y'all. If they came out with a game show and put you in a cage with a bear and you have to last rounds with a bear for a certain amount of money, would you do it? Would you pick the bear? Because, you know, picking the man, obviously, that's just the worst thing you could do. So I want y'all to answer that in the comments. If you had to fight against a bear for a certain amount of money, would you do it? For real, would you? Would you? Be honest. Some of them are going to say yes. They're going to say this yes. Is the they gonna say this yes. Is the so make sure you share the video, you guys. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And again, comment and let us know what you guys want us to talk about next. Well, you guys, that's been it for today's episode. See y'all in the next episode. Bye.